Guten Tag, Observer. Wie geht's? Hoffentlich, hoffentlich, sie sind Frau. Ich bin Frau. Anyway, welcome to uh, my Let's Play of Silent Hunter 5. Currently, we're outside the port of uh, Brennan. Uh, we hope to go in there, upgrade our ship a little bit, and finish this mission. Man, I love, like, right here is the Big Dipper. Let's see if I can find any more constellations that I know of. It might be too early in the year to see. Okay, there's the Big Dipper. Schiff in Sicht, Kurs 1, 2. Yeah, we don't see Orion's belt yet. Oh well. Okay, so let's go into the harbor. Halbe Fahrt voraus. All ahead full. Okay, I decided to like bring it in a little bit outside the harbor so y'all can see the lovely ships. And wow. Um, okay, those are cranes. For a second there, I thought they were uh, flat guns. Like man, those are some massive turrets. But yeah, I was hoping to catch a glimpse of um, some ships as we came into port. I mean, look at the lovely scenery. Got a couple ships over there. Ship out at sea over here. An island. Just beautiful. And let me turn out this way. So I don't go crashing in the land. Look, it's the... Those aren't seagulls. They might be seagulls, but they didn't look like them. I didn't see any big bill or anything. Anyway. Oh, there's a lighthouse. I don't have any mods, so you don't see any of these, um... Any buoys of, uh, guidance telling me where to go in at. Um, there's a merchant ship. Looks like another merchant ship. Another one. I was hoping to see the Bismarck. Or other large warship. It might be on the other side of this wall here. Well, that's a merchant ship on the other side of that wall. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Schiff in Sicht, Kurs 5, 7. Am I going into where I'm supposed to go, or am I about to crash into something? I'm about to crash into something. Hard left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, something's bad. Okay, the game just, like, completely messed up on me there for a second. I lost all sense of control, but I'm in the harbor, so... That works. Okay, let's go forward. What's happening here? Um, guys, I, uh, I can do this. Voraus. Ruder 5, Grad Backboard. Ruder 5, Grad Steuerboard. Why won't it let me in patrol? I did complete my mission. Oh my goodness, this is the one time it didn't it didn't switch me from Kiel to Bremen. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll we're gonna take a break here. I'll start recording once I'm in uh Kiel's Harbor. Oh my goodness, that's oh my. Oh my. Oh, here goes nothing. Okay, we're back. Um Currently in uh, the harbor of Kiel, I just wanted bef to um, check before I docked on how well I did on this patrol. Okay, so we sunk 14 ships in total, um, giving 75 tons. That's pretty good, I think, um, compared to the 50 tons we had to sink. Okay, let's let's dock. And this is also a test to see if um, using my external hard drive has fixed the Machine lag stop. issue of being in port. I think it's okay. So it was basically my hard drive speed being the 
the limiting factor in this. Okay. And now that I have two hard drives processing this, it's much better. Okay, anyway. I need to upgrade my boat. Hey, man. Okay. Sensors. Let's get this baby up and running. No radars, no decoys, no modification to the deck gun. Uh, still want the same loadout. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll go with the regular. There we go. So my captain's in. Okay, yeah, my captain's in. What's his name? Okay. Good to go in that. Well, let's get our new mission. Kommen Sie herein, Herr Kalon. Ich habe so eine neue Mission. We've already heard that. Let's see. We only have this mission available. British supply lines. Okay, this is going to be a little bit rough, but I think we can manage. Basically, what I'm going to have to do is come through the Kiel Canal, come out at Hilgeland, refuel, and make my way down through Strasse von Dover. Okay, now how I'm going to do that is I'm probably going to come right here, stop until night time. Well, mm, yeah, stop until night time and probably go through here on the surface. Or, if I feel like it, I'll probably just go through here at periscope depth, come up here, it should still be nighttime, and in surface run all the way through here and get out to uh, the open waters and see how it goes from there. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, I think I forgot to request the mission. Let's skip that. And actually request the mission. Request. Okay. There we go. Welcome to Rückkehrkolon. Let's start out on a new patrol. Uh, Anti-submarine vessels initially carried only two depth charges to be released from a chute at the stern of the ship. Aha! It was the stern. Anyway, the first success was the sinking of the M S M. U-68 off of Kiri, Ireland. Uh, blah, 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 blah. See, I'm kind of illiterate, so if I'm messing up my German, it's okay. Because I'm illiterate in my own tongue. That was a interesting... Okay. Now, I was initially going to spare y'all um, the atrocity of going through the Kiel Canal. But I wanted to show something, which I don't know if how far out I'll have to be. Oh, well, it, uh, it automatically transported me to Brennan. So I actually have to uh, get out of the place myself. Let's start turning. Let's speed this up, shall we? Okay, let's make a hard port side turn. Level her out. Thank goodness I don't have to go through the canal. That takes that takes forever. Even if you plot it, which is not recommended. Okay, so from here, I plan on going out. Through here, through here. Uh, there probably would be limited benefit of going to Hilgeland before going through here, so we'll just go out this way. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if um, what I wanted to show is going to show up. It's probably not since it's ally ships. But, um, please tell me my radar got upgraded. Okay, yeah. Basically, you can't see it right now, but, uh, 
because for some reason it's not showing lines. But this this sonar lets me use sonar on the surface, which I thoroughly enjoy. Oh, I forgot to increase the difficulty. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I might have to go back for that. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sorry about that. Dun, 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 load game. Off. Auto. Interbase. Let me make sure it's everything's okay. Sorry for the waste of time here. I'll probably cut a little bit of this out. But I said so much. The Uba gramophone was not suitable usable unless the sea was calm. Instability caused the needle to move and skip tracks. In this situation, the radio was preferred. Okay, so if people don't know what a gramophone is, it's pretty much like a record player with a big giant, um, like, horn thing to amplify the sound. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's, uh, redo this. Herr Kalein. Sorry about that. Sorry to waste Klar, your time. Was wünschen Sie? Upgrade here. Get all my torpedoes Sicher, loaded up. Da, 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 da. Klar, was wünschen Sie? Get that Klar, on there. Was wünschen Sie? Okay. Good to go. Ja, Herr Kalein. Sie werden Ihre Dame zurück, nicht mehr wiederherkommen. Sie haben mit Herr Kalein. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, gameplay settings. Okay. So, right here we got um, this is medium difficulty. Just showing everything that is medium. I'm like I said, I'm going to increase the difficulty as I go on in the game. Um, I really don't want to be in medium difficulty anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to high difficulty. Basically, it limits my O2, my fuel. Um, does it give me... Are duds in medium? Yeah, duds are in medium. Okay. Um, gives me a longer reload time. So this actually might make um, bigger, longer videos. Um, I am going to have... Is that... I don't want to risk it. I want to be able to show the outside of the ship, so it's going to be a little bit less. Um, that might be it. I don't know the difference between the two, but oh well. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Supply changes. Yep. And now, let's get out into the sea. Let's start the new patrol. Sorry to waste your time a little bit there. When you've been at sea for that long, 203 days, you can't walk more than a couple hundred meters before you have to stop and massage your legs. Everyone else, everyone had a b beard as well. Mine was n 18 centimeters long. Walter Schwemmt. Nimm Maschinenstopp. Halbe Fahrt voraus. Maschinenstopp. Erreichen das Ende der Wegstrecke. You can't even see what's happening, but we'll, we'll go ahead. Voraus. Okay, let's get out of this harbor. Ruder fünf. Whoa, Grad Backbord. Ruder fünf. Grad Steuerbord. Oh no. Ruder no. fünf. Grad Steuerbord. No. Ruder fünf. This can't be. Why? Ruder null. Ruder null. Why? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm definitely Ruder not going to fünf. put you through Grad the torture Steuerbord. of me navigating Ruder the canal null. again. I'll be back whenever I'm done. Okay, so we've just, um, I've just left the Kiel Canal and I'm on my way to Helgeland to refuel. Let's see what my fuel is at right now. Out in the open waters, that's a beautiful sun right there. What is that? Land, okay. Puffy clouds, almost like a storybook. Little did I know we're at war here. There ain't no fairy tale. Okay, that's the wrong one. 
Let's see. Oh wow, my fuel is at 98%. That's actually not bad. I might not even refuel. Uh, might as well. Since it's along the way. See, that was an example of my sonar working. There's my sonar working again while I'm on the surface. Um, that's why I consider the, the other sonar kind of a side grade, not an upgrade. I actually prefer this sonar, even though it has, um, I believe it has a lower resolution due to the fact that it can't rotate. And what I mean by resolution is that it doesn't update as often and the data is a little bit less reliable. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for, um, for my ship. I mean, in a way I guess I've set this up so that it's more of a land, well, uh, a warship than a true submarine in that regard, but, I mean, it works, it works. Hmm. I wish the Santana would go up so I can show it off. I don't know if it ever goes up. Anyway, we're approaching Helgeland. We have nicht Wasser Let me see if my... Okay, my depth under keel button's working. Thank goodness. That is actually pretty... Tiefe unter Kiel okay, beträgt 21,3 Meter, Herr Kalein. There's a ship on the horizon. A destroyer. Ah, another one. Schiff in Sicht. Kurs 3, 2, 1. Okay. Let's fast forward this a bit faster. That ship's not moving. Okay. Let's refuel. I uh, probably could go out and show it. Hmm. It's got like a power plant there or something. Not much to see at Helgeland. Anyway, it's now time to go out to the Strausen. Wait, Strausa Fondova. Okay, let's get over there. Let's see, I'm going to plot my course. Come up over here. And we're going to go down through here, the deepest part. Because we're going to have to be submerged, of course. Okay, let's go. And this is an example of what extreme time compression looks like. There is a little bit lag, of lag, which is why you want to be careful whenever you're doing it. Especially when their ships come up, um, when their ships show up on the map, or what is a friendly vessel doing there? Uh. But um, as you come into visual range of ships, it, it could potentially lag and um, you could end up running ashore or hitting that ship before it has time to slow down. Uh, tasty targets, but uh, let's not worry about that. Now another issue with the sonar is that it has um, a limit um, to how far forward and how far back the sonar works. It only does um, 140 degrees, so it'd basically be like this, a little fan that goes out. So I can't really see anything directly in front of me until I upgrade my sonar guy to the extreme. But that's okay. I think we'll be fine. It is... Okay. We've got a plane. Who knows where I am? Don't really have to worry about planes at this part of the war. Um, they're not really equipped to handle submarines at the moment, but they will no, later. What time is it? It is 9 a.m. So I'm going to get as close as I possibly can. 
and then we're just gonna wait the whole day away until night how much fuel do we have 93 that's okay there's no turning back um, I mean if we had to refuel we have to go all the way back to um, Hilgeland there's no in between here it'd be awesome if like we had Spain here or something Okay, it's still morning. This is getting a little bit close. To the English Channel. So far, so good though. Watch me end up sinking myself. Okay, I have a merchant contact. It's coming up right beside me. It might alert my position, so let's go ahead and go down the... It's a friendly. There's a warship. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Let's go ahead and start moving. Don't have to wait till nightfall, I guess. Okay, so I thought we had dived. Um, what well, we're diving now, for sure. Let's get that other one down. Okay, so there's a warship off in this direction, according to our sonar. I do not see him. I do not believe he sees me. This boat is in visual range. might see this poor soul getting attacked later on. I have no clue what he is trying to accomplish all by himself. But we'll see. Tiefe beträgt 1-0 Meter. Okay. We'll just tiptoe through here. I should be going slower to conserve battery power. What's my battery look like? Battery is 97. I don't have any ships coming up on this side, so this ship might be safe. Ooh. There is a ship. I get to see some action. Oh, he's been destroyed. Well, I wish we could have helped him. I wish we could have. Fortunately, though, we have a mission. I'm, I feel so sorry for that, uh, Deutschman for not knowing that, uh, That we're at war, apparently. I have no clue if this Neuer guy's Kontakt, in Kriegsschiff mit langsamer Fahrt auf or gleichbleibender not. Entfernung. In und 20, 7, in großer Entfernung. Can't tell. But if it is an ally, man, they're, they're stockading us pretty good. Well, blockading us pretty well. It's probably someone out of, uh, uh, the Netherlands, probably. Netherlands or, uh, Belgium. Okay, yeah. Let's get through the spiderweb of ships. We should be okay. As long as we get to... Probably out here without a problem. We should be okay. Okay. 
so far so good as long as these guys don't turn around we will be okay no 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 this is probably going to check out. Tiefe and here beträgt und 60. Vier. 64. Go down Tiefe further. Verdammt. Go a little bit slower. Langsame Fahrt voraus. Tiefe beträgt 2, 0 Meter. Tiefe beträgt 3, 0 Meter. Tiefe beträgt 4, 0 Meter. Silent running. Something's wrong here. It said rig for solid running. Herr Kaloin, kann ich kurz mit Ihnen sprechen? Ja, bitte, Herr Kaloin. Nicht möglich. Cannot comply. What do you mean you cannot comply? Eine Fahrt voraus. We just gotta be careful. We can make it, guys. We can make it. Now, see, what I'm trying to do here, I know he's going to be over on top of me. Like running over top of me. I am going slow. And I should be below the thermocline, hopefully. Um, well, the miniature thermocline that we have here. That should let me go underneath his passive, I mean, his active sonar. Oh, crap. That's close. Close to the bottom here. We gotta... Okay, they've passed. Auf Zero tiefe gehen. Langsame Fahrt voraus. Now we can go a bit faster. If you, if, um, passive sonar doesn't work behind the ship because you can't hear anything behind your own engines, pretty much. So I know that we're pretty much safe. But basically what I was trying to do, like I was mentioning earlier, there is a thermocline that's about 30 to 100 meters um, below depth where the ocean water becomes dramatically colder than the water above it and um, which messes up sonar and basically I just instead of just stopping still and wasting time I decided to go beneath this guy's active sonar by using the thermocline okay now it is almost night time Once it turns nighttime, I'm going to peek up at the clouds and see if we go for surface running. Let me see how the battery is looking. Battery is really low. See, that was the, the issue I was afraid of. Okay. We're going to surface. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. 13% battery power. Okay, that should help us dive a little bit. Let me go. I feel bad I decreased. I am... Um, come on. My XO had something to say to me, but it was kind of more important to... Uh, deal with the situation and deal with him so his morale went down but that's okay I mean if you're going through the straws of Andover you wouldn't want to put like talk gossip or anything okay we're good to we're good to go we do have a ship over in that direction but it should be okay let's go Pull ahead. The goal here is um, we got to cover as much ground as possible before daytime so we can get out of the English Channel. And 
survive. Okay, we do have a ship off to our side here. We'll be okay. Hopefully, he, if everything goes right, will be out in this open water with us, and we can make him count as a kill. Okay, now, I did say that we want to get as far out into um, the Atlantic as we can um, before sunrise, but I'm not going at flanking speed. The reason for that is flanking speed eats up your fuel dr dramatically. Actually being at full speed um, is going to kill my, ba my uh, fuel pretty well too. Okay, so it's 1 o'clock. This will go under and uh, prepare in case we need to drive. Clock up. Guess my captain will be sleeping till morning unless something important happens. Okay, we're gonna pass in front of that. Yeah, we'll be okay. I don't want to blow him up and attract it unnecessary attention to myself. He probably could have just radioed me in. But, um, he's just a merchant. He probably doesn't know what I am. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay, now it's daytime. And it's saving, so... That's a bad sign. Why are you saving? Okay, so it's daytime. Let's slow down a bit. Let's go fuel. Usually when the game saves like that, that means that there's a ship around. Um, it's probably just uh, one of the merchant ships out this direction. But um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to pay attention. Be extra cautious, rather. Okay, we're almost out. Okay, yeah. Sharon, bro. London, Dover, Plymouth, Perry, Nidolanta, London, Copenhagen. Oh! Is that a warship? No, it's a merchant. Okay, good. Oh, he sees this. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, 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 oh. Kontakt, Frachter, okay. mit langsamer Fahrt, näher kommend, in 11, in großer Entfernung. Tiefe und der Kiel beträgt und 60. Okay, we got this. Meter, Herr Kalloin. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we can't go below. Okay, we need to go below. We need to go below. Oh. I'm panicking. <laughs> okay. Didn't realize how close he was. Down. Down we go down now. I'll Crash died, actually. to the deeper water. I actually want to see what my boat looks like, like what incline it's at. Oh, you already leveled out. 
Darn, I was hoping to see it dive diving. Oh well. Okay, so what would have happened there? I've yeah, already discussed this in a previous video, but um, in a crash dive drill, the alarm goes off, and everybody in a whole boat goes from wherever they are in the boat to the front of the boat to put all the weight in front to help it point downwards. And once it's pointing downwards, the thought behind it is that um, they can crank the engine full power and the downward angle will help push, will make the engines push the ship downward and help it dive faster. Okay, well this, we're going to go back up to Periscope. Okay, okay, so that was an emergency dive, first one of the season, and that was because this guy, I thought he was farther out than he was. That could have been a pretty short, uh, this could have been... A very short let's play if that had happened. Okay, so, he's over there. Yeah, see, he, he noticed me. This is kind of straight for us. So, what we're going to do... I've already made the preparations and everything, I actually need to... Stop that so fast. Not that he could hear me then, but let's look at what I did. Okay, so basically he's seen me. I noticed that he saw me. He was getting close. He's obviously going directly for He's actually going directly for me. Um so I probably should change course again. So let's go this way. But basically when you when you encounter a destroyer, you want it to go below the sea level. Um, you you want to go below the sea level and then change course. Um, you don't want to change course while you're diving because then he'll know where you're going. I have a feeling that he still sees me. Let me lower my... Let's change course again. Okay, maybe he's just doing a hunting pattern. But I was pretty sure he saw me. Regardless, we're underwater. We have to be underwater for the duration. Um, it's actually rig for silent running. Keep going. Let's raise the periscope. Peter Zane, Dust Destroyer. Okay, we live. This time. I am not peeking my head up for a while, though. That was a close one. Well, in my eyes, it was a close one. Um, he was actually pretty far away, outside of visual, my visual range, um, when we encountered him. And now, let me go to the other map. What? Right. Wrong button. Okay, here we go. Battery's 50%. Yeah, I'm going to get to this part of. Wow, okay. There is a large convoy out there. just passed. Hopefully we're probably never going to catch that boat. That series of boats. 
Okay, so now we gotta surface again. Neuer Wegpunkt. Kurs 3, 5, 2. Maschinen stopp. Okay, it's night time. We should be okay. Halbe Fahrt voraus. Neuer Wegpunkt. Kurs 11. Nimm Kurs wieder auf. Okay, there's there's not gonna be any ship sinking this battle. I mean this this episode, but I mean I guess this is a good way to show how to get through the the Strait of Dover Strasse. I did just pick up something on sonar. That's okay. I wish I could have get caught up to that uh that large convoy that came through. That's okay. We'll have some fun once we get out into the open ocean. Flugzeug in Sicht. Kurs 355. Like I said, um the airplanes at this time they can report our position. Oh man, is there a aircraft carrier nearby? They can report our position. But I'm not too worried about that, and I don't have any armaments at the moment that are capable of taking me out just yet. So I'm not that concerned about them. Ships, ships. Not yet. I have to be out in there. Out in the open. Night time. British supplies. Blockade of Germany. Okay, I've got a new mission. Um, let me look at it. That's what I was worried about. Okay. We gotta take down a carrier and uh, relieve um, some pressure off of up here. So, since I'm already out here, let's try and hunt down that carrier. Okay. Let me rest out here a little bit. Okay, so I've seen a lot of helicopters, I mean, not a helicopters, um, airplanes. So, let's uh, stop for a minute. Machine stop. Die. So we can have um, get below Hilfe the thermal decline and have uh, a better sonar Drei. capabilities. Meter. Drei. Meter. Check out anything on sonar. Thought I heard something right Tiefe there. beträgt vier null Meter. Maybe. Oh. Let me check. Ja, bitte, Herr Kalloin. Gut, aber das wird eine Weile. That's the large convoy. So it's October. I can catch up with that convoy. Äußerste Fahrt voraus. Boot auftauchen. But it's got destroyers. How much do I have to sink? That merchant. Okay. I'll start going on an intercept fast with this convoy. See what happens.
I think I did hear this convoy, though, because I said, I was like, there was something over in this direction. Okay. See, I'm going twice as fast as this convoy is, so I should be able to catch up to it eventually. Slowing down. Okay, he's got nothing. Okay, let me do it. Machine stop. Okay, they're right there. That's... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 degrees from my location. Well, from my bearing, rather. Okay. So they are way... They're out this way. And last we heard them, they were going... This way. Okay. So in order to catch them... Let's see... Thirty kilometers. So if this th is three, this is a four. So I need to make a five. So that's a three. Let's make this a forty. And this is a special triangle, by the way, that I'm using that you learn in geo. Um. Um. At least I learned it in high school. Um, geography. Okay, so that's a three, four, five triangle. So I need to come to this bearing in order to catch up. Neuer Wegpunkt. Kurs drei, drei, six. Äußerste Fahrt voraus. Okay, so this is probably a good stopping point for this uh, this episode. In the next episode, we're going to try to take down that convoy. And it looks like we've got some. Well, it's morning, so it's morning evaporation phase. Um, but in the next episode, we're going to attack this convoy, and I should have myself set up for this. We're actually going to arrive here before this does because um I mean I'd only have to be going maybe 12 15 knots to catch them at this point. To catch them at this point, I'd have to be going 12 knots. My ship, it's obviously capable of going 20 knots at the moment. So, I'm going to get here before I um, projected I would. So, this will let me line up for the attack run. So, let me see how far away this is from there. Yeah, okay. So, I'm probably going to have to dive around here. But anyway, that's for the next episode. Um, if you um, enjoy this Let's Play so far, uh, please leave comments in the comment section below. Probably not going to ask him that. It's probably going to be the last time I've ever made it. But um, I do appreciate that. You know, so far, I'm rising all the way up to this But anyway, catch you in the next episode. Off.